do yeah. is adore you all of the time. I like to come on, come on, come on, come on. and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. Hi, my name is Nikki and today's video, if you can't already tell from the title, is going to be my daily hamster night routine. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys everything that I do pretty much on the daily for Rhino. I think that this can really help a lot of you guys because I always see comments saying like, I just got my hamster or I'm like just getting my hamster. So I think that maybe you guys who are just getting new hamsters maybe don't know how much time you need to put into your hamster every day. And I'm gonna be very honest, like I'm not gonna add any unnecessary steps. And by the way, this video is not gonna include like the monthly cage cleanings and things like that. So that will be additional time that will not be in this video because obviously you don't want to clean out your entire hamster's cage every single night. I want to be good for your hamster either so and I hope you guys enjoy so let's go ahead and get on to the video. So one last thing before we get into the video is I just wanted to announce today's sponsor which is Jackfit. So if you've never heard of Jackfit I'm kind of just going to explain what their mission is. So they actually mix sports entertainment games with exercise which exercise is personally a huge part of my life i go to the gym a couple times a week so when they reached out to me i was so happy about it pretty much what they make is actually bike sensors and what you do is you pretty much put the sensor on your bike and it can track how fast you're going your distance your speed your altitude how many calories you're burning and everything like that and what makes this even more fun is that they have an actual app which is a jackfit app and you put this on your stand when you're biking and it will it's kind of like you're biking in a Wii like you know how you play Wii sports I feel like this is pretty similar but you're actually biking so you're actually getting exercise while having fun and it's almost like you're in the video game. So really quickly, I just wanted to kind of show you guys me using the actual sensor itself. I just put it on this bike that I have. Um, excuse all the mess in the background. This is just my family room. My dog decided to say hi. But yeah, I was just trying it out and I was actually watching myself bike on the Jackfit app, which was super cool. And yeah, it was pretty fun. All right, guys, I'm biking. <laughs> I'm biking and it's like I'm on a video game pretty much. Biking of course. And in the corner it tells you how many calories, what your altitude is, and everything like that. Getting the grinds, but feels good. I can tell you guys that definitely got my heart racing. It was really fun to like see yourself actually on the um, app itself. Like, if you guys need some inspiration to exercise or you already have like a bike, this is such a great buy and I would definitely suggest it. So check out the links in the description box if you want to go buy it. And there's also so gonna be some links on like how to work it and stuff because I know I didn't really go into much detail on that. But I don't want this video to just be this. So we're gonna go ahead and get on to the actual routine. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the actual video, which is my nightly hamster routine. So I'm just going to show you guys everything that I do pretty much once a night to make sure that Rhino's cage is looking good and he's all set for the next night and everything just looks really nice. So I just took the top off of his cage. I let him sniff me a little bit and I give him a couple treats. I do this every single night. I always hand feed him a couple of treats because I think this is how you really get your hamster used to yourself and if you forget to hand feed your hamster for a couple nights, I definitely notice a difference in Rhino. So anyways, uh, I just took his food dish and I dumped it out in his hamster trash. It's just a Tupperware container with a top on it which comes in super handy. So I would definitely suggest if you have like hamster stuff have like a little trash can next to where you are at anyways next I sifted through his sand and I just took out all of the bedding and peas and stuff the peas I put in his hamster trash bin which again is why I have one I think it's super useful that you don't always have to run to um, go find a trash can you just have one right there
thought you guys would enjoy that cute little clip of Rhino, but yeah, I just am continuing to sift through and get out all of the bedding and make it super clean for him. So now I'm taking some extra sand and pouring that in because I like to do this um, not every day, definitely. I don't add sand in every day, but maybe like once a week or once every week and a half just because he tends to kick out a lot of sand out of a sand bath. But what I'm doing now is I'm actually just spot cleaning around his hideout because that's where he tends to poop a lot and the bedding gets soiled a lot more than just other parts of his cage. So I'm kind of just going through and picking up all of the poops kind of and the soiled bedding and I'm just spot cleaning that out of the cage. I definitely don't do this every single day. I just um, kind of do this like maybe once a week or so just to kind of keep his bedding nice and fresh for him. And I gave him some broccoli that night so I had to get that out of the bedding as well and I just kind of made sure it, the bedding looked all nice and fresh and didn't smell or anything. And then right over here I'm just going to be giving him a couple more treats because I think that's super important because that's kind of how you bond with your hamster is by giving them treats and yeah. guys so now I'm moving on to his second cage and I'm just kind of doing the same thing that I did in the first one with cleaning out his sand pit um, and then now I'm actually gonna be cleaning out his water dishes which as you guys can see often get bedding and dirt in them so I just dump them out in the toilet actually and then I just wash them out in the sink and make sure that they're all clean and then I put in fresh water normally from a water bottle even though I don't like using plastic bottles a lot but it's just way easier to pour it into such small bowls. Now I'm just gonna be feeding him, which as you guys can see, the food was getting a little bit low, so I actually went ahead and filled that up in this video. But as you guys can see, I just took a scoop and I kind of sprinkled it around his cage. I put a little bit in his food dish, but I also sprinkled some, which is what I typically like to do. I typically like to put about a scoop, maybe a little less in each of the bowls, and then scatter feed the rest. And then I just wanted to make sure that the wheel was all nice and straight because it tends to lean backwards as you guys just saw. So um, it can be kind of frustrating sometimes, but I just want to make sure that it's all nice and upright and it's not banging against the back of the cage at all. And then next I just poured out his hamster trash because it was getting kind of high and it does not smell very good either. The next thing that I did was I just took his food, which I keep in the refrigerator, which keeps it way fresher than if you just keep it out in the open with it being unsealed. So I would definitely suggest you guys keep your hamster food in the refrigerator. But yeah, so I just poured it into his airtight container, which I usually keep his food in because it's getting pretty low. Um, so yeah, I just did that. Obviously, I don't do this every day. I just do it when it needs to get refilled and yeah. And there you guys go. That is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and it honestly just showed you guys how much I do on the regular. Things like cleaning out the wheel I will do maybe once or twice a week depending on how much it needs it and just look at how dirty your hamster's wheel is and clean it depending on that. So yeah, this is honestly it and I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys can just watch these cute little clips of Rhino now. Please, please don't talk about me when I'm gone Oh honey